This high school dropout has a better grasp on the truth than the vast majority of journalists and media talking heads out there. All right. Uh, who the heck is Tim Poole and why am I talking about him? So uh, this, let me just show you real quick. This is Tim Poole. And I've talked on this channel. Well, first of all, welcome to Statehood for Artsakh. If you're new to the channel, this is a channel dedicated to recognizing, literally re getting statehood for the nation of Artsakh recognized by the international community, uh, in particular the United States. I believe that that's the only solution to the conflict that's raging uh, that's been raging uh, over in Armenia between Azerbaijan, Turkey, and Armenia. Now, if you're a Tim Pool fan and you came to this channel because I put Tim Pool in the name and you searched, and uh, let me explain who we are. Uh, I'm a Hollywood producer who's currently uh, uh, suffering from the, the shutdowns, the COVID shutdowns. But in the meantime, I'm continuing with the project that I've been working on. It's uh, it's an Armenian Genocide Project. If you've never heard of that, then welcome. Now you will learn about the Armenian Genocide. But Tim Pool is one of the sources that I... Uh, now, this is for my regular viewers who probably don't know who Tim Pool is. He's one of the sources that I use. He's uh, I try to aggregate news content. There's just no possible way to... Um, let me talk to this camera. There's no possible way to go through all the data that's out there. And uh, that's part of one of the part of the service I hope to be providing with this channel is that I I have sources that I rely on that aggregate information. And I mentioned it in an earlier episode. Uh, uh, um, Real Clear Politics just links you to all different sources on different sides of every argument. Tim Pool is one of those aggregators. He's a, a YouTuber. And uh, recently, yesterday, in fact, he mentioned a couple things in one of his videos that I was going to mention here. So I figured I'd just show you a, his clip, what he said. Now, I've promised to my regular viewers that I would uh, explain why a Biden presidency is bad for Armenia, uh, bad for Artsakh, bad for sovereignty for Artsakh, and bad for the world in general. It's certainly bad for America. Um and so I promised to talk about that. I've talked about it before, but there were some specific indicators of genocide that I, I've been researching history with a team of historians. I'm a Hollywood producer. I'm not a historian, but I call me a, a history enthusiast or an amateur historian. I am an expert on a few things, um, but in my research, like with historians, that are Armenian and historians that are Turks, that are the perpetrators of the genocide. Uh, I've been seeing things from this genocide that happened just over 100 years ago uh, that I now see as I am also a political junkie watching what's happening in the headlines. Uh, and it's an eerie uh, correlation. The things that I saw that were precursors to the Armenian genocide that I see as potential. And Tim Pool mentioned a couple of them. So uh, let me just show you what he, Tim Pool had to say yesterday in this portion of this video. We will light you up. Stochastic terrorism is what it's called. Because after your name is put on that list, Antifa, well, they know who you are. And the left won't talk about it, or the Democrats won't talk about it. Why? Because Antifa functions very well as a cudgel. They can say, we're going to keep a list of all the enablers. And then you ask, well, what do you mean a list of all the enablers? What are you going to do with that list? It's just because we don't want to work with you. And then that list will be known to Antifa and they'll know where your business is. And when a brick goes flying through your window or your building burns down, that has nothing to do with us. That was just angry people. All right. Uh, as you can see, the article that he what Tim Pool does is he reads news all day and every day, and then he does videos on the different subjects that he covers, that he that he's read about, and he's reading uh, AOC and company's loathsome plan to keep lists of pro-Trumpies. All right, so uh, in very few seconds, Tim mentioned a couple of the items that uh, I have. I have my own uh, list of things that are precursors to genocide that I recognize um, 
potentially happening in America. But when I say America, it's really the uh, globalists influence. And so it's the planet, right? Genocide has never happened planet wide and, but it could. Uh, and if it happens in America, that's a bad sign or <laughs> obviously a bad thing for the rest of the world. What he said, he said lists and Antifa, and those both represent exactly, uh, what I want to talk about today. Let me go to, uh, history. This is, is a history.com. Uh, those of you watching that don't know anything about the Armenian Genocide, uh, it's uh, incontrovertible. There are plenty of people opposed to it, saying it's fake news. Fake news from 100 years ago. Well, this is history.com. All right. Uh, I've been researching it, w again, with Armenian and Turkish historians, right? The, the Turks that are smart know their own history, as awful as it is, right? As awful as it, as it is to to admit that you're, you're ethnically related to some very, very bad people. That's, that's hard, uh, to reconcile with, but we're all ethnically genetically related to very bad people. All right. So the Turks aren't, uh, we shouldn't single them out as, as we shouldn't single out, single out Germans who might've been re related to Nazi perpetrators, right? There are evil people all around us. Some of them are in our family. So again, I don't want this, uh, don't, target other people with your hatred, target evil ideas, right? They're, they're all around us and they're within us. Armenian genocide begins on April 24th, 24th, 1915. The Armenian genocide began and that day. The Turkish government arrested and executed several hundred Armenian intellectuals. Now, how did this happen? Well, it, it wasn't just a sudden thing that happened. It was in a long time coming. And that's why I see the signs. You look at, you look at what's going on in your culture, pay attention. Uh, and that's why knowing history is important. So Tim Pool is a, he pays attention to what's going on now. He's like a historian of the current, you know, journalist. So he's a journalist. He's a high school dropout, but he is like the most honest and, uh, disciplined journalist, uh, that I've come across. He's like a modern day. I mean, I, I don't know great journalists of history, but he does not ignore both sides. He, he looks at both sides. So, uh, what he is seeing is what I've been seeing in the research at the same time. So the Armenian genocide begins, then they, they, they round up intellectuals. Let me click away from this real quick. So on Wikipedia, the deportation of Armenian intellectuals, part of the Armenian genocide. It's what it's at the beginning on April 24th, right down here. April 24th was the start date in, in 1915 of the Armenian genocide. What happened was lists were made, right? Lists were made and submitted to the perpetrators, Talat Pasha, the uh, ministry, minister of the interior at the time of the uh, Ottoman Empire, was the one who executed the orders. He collected the lists of names. In other words, the most influential, the influencers, the powerful people, the lawyers, the politicians, the, the writers, the, the journalists, the, the artists, these are the most impressive people of the Armenian community. They were put on a list and targeted. They were arrested and deported and executed. That's how the Armenian genocide began. And what Tim Poole is saying in his video is that <laughs> AOC's and companies loathsome plan to keep lists of pro-Trumpies. So here we have someone being targeted, a group being targeted as the Armenian intellectuals. The Armenians were targeted in that genocide. There's always a group to blame. And I, I encourage you to go watch this video. This video by Tim Poole is called Biden begs for unity, but leftists are calling for retribution and tribunals for Trump supporters. So tribunals, retribution and tribunals, in other words, target. And what, and so the lists by listing, making lists is a bad sign. You don't have, you don't make lists of people unless you have bad intent. Now, AOC and her faction don't have the power to round up uh, Trump supporters and put them on trains and deport them. 
but we live in a new age. Technology has changed and that the trains were the advanced technology of the time, trains, uh, sticking people on trains and deporting them. Today, what's that? What is the advanced technology? It's doxing, right? It's making lists and putting the names out there. That's the equivalent of making these lists and submitting to those in power. Because there are those in power out there, if you have people who have access to your information, you've just published a list publicly and given orders tacitly by implying that these people on this list that I'm doxing, and if those of you, those of you who don't know what doxing is, it's just publishing, putting publicly publishing uh, private information or personal information. That isn't even, it isn't even necessarily private. But if you aggregate a list of people and put it out and say, these are the bad guys, right? The Trumpies. Uh, there are those hostile actors who will act upon that. Uh, so that's a bad sign a precursor to genocide. The other thing uh, that I'm going to wrap up with this that is mentioned here, back to the history.com. So at the same time, the Young Turks, who were the power center, right? Like maybe the AOC squad might be a power center. The Young Turks created a special organization, which in turn organized killing squads or butcher battalions to carry out, as one officer put it, the liquidation of the Christian elements. These killing squads were often made up of murderers and other ex-convicts. They drowned people in rivers, threw them off cliffs, crucified them and burned them alive. In short order, the Turkish countryside was littered with Armenian corpses. All right, this is history.com. The Turkish countryside was littered with Armenian corpses. The special organization, the Ottoman government opened up the prisons, uh, the bad actors, the criminal element, and 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 essentially targeted the people on the list. It wasn't just the intellectuals, the Armenian intellectuals, but it was the all Armenians, the Christian Armenian population was targeted and executed. So when AOC mentioned, uh, well, Tim Pool mentions the list going Antifa are the violent criminals that are being released from jail. They've been arrested for rioting and immediately released from prison. And the calling on this, that side of the aisle to release violent criminals, even to pay for their bail, is the equivalent of releasing the special organization on and uh, having these violent actors who don't care about the law, who are being enabled by the government to go commit crime and uh, to go randomly and at will without threat of imprisonment or consequence. So these are the, let me just read the special organization, uh, special organization. This is on Wikipedia from the Armenian Genocide. Little by little, from the end of 1914 to the beginning of 1915, hundreds, then thousands of prisoners were freed to form the members of this organization. Later, they were charged with escorting the convoys of Armenian deportees. Vehib Pasha, commander of the Ottoman Third Army, called those members of the special organization the butchers of the human species. Antifa, is a violent, anti-American, anti-government, anti-Christian organization. And there are those that argue that this is not an organization. Well, they have chapters in different cities. They are organized enough. Similarly to these, the special organization squad, they targeted those that the government wanted them to target. These are the signs of genocide. These are precursors to genocide. So welcome any Tim Pool fans who stumbled across this channel. I am fighting against genocide. I'm doing everything I can to educate the public. Uh, I haven't said it yet, but you need to share. Subscribe, subscribe, and share. If you're new to this channel, click the subscribe button, share the link, click the notification bell. Go to the comment section. If Again, if you're new, you'll see a whole bunch of uh, arguing going on between Turks and Armenians, Tur Turks and Azeris uh, versus Armenians and Christians that are fans 
or subscribers to this channel, I get a lot of Turks and Azeris that are trying to refute what I'm talking about. I'm talking about history. I've been researching history. So uh, welcome and uh, let's let's stop genocide.